up? Welcome to another edition of Sacktown Movie Buffs. Once again, I'm here. Unfortunately, there's no Jason today, but today I am back reviewing a new film that is only playing in theaters, and that film is The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, starring Nicolas Cage. And I say without further ado, I say we get right into it. Um, so I just saw this uh, film just recently, just over the weekend, and as I said, it stars Nicolas Cage, who is essentially playing himself, or kind of like a Hollywood version of himself. Um, basically, he's an actor who is in financial ruins, which Nicolas Cage basically was at some point in time in his career, and uh, kind of needs money. And so basically, he's actually offered an opportunity to uh, go... I guess, hang out basically to a birthday party for like this wealthy millionaire who's going to pay him a million dollars uh, just to attend the, the the birthday party in Spain. And the millionaire happens to be Pedro Pascal in this case, and who is like one of his biggest fans. Um, so he has to fly to, so Nicolas Cage decides to accept it, decides to fly to uh, Spain in order to meet this individual. And uh, soon after arriving, um, you know, he's having a great time. He's really hitting it off with this individual. Um, but then he is soon uh, contacted by uh, basically agents uh, who are played by Tiffany Haddish and Ike uh, Barinholtz, who basically inform him that uh, the man that he is having a great time with is actually uh, basically a criminal and is under investigation. And they basically want him to help um, uh, basically help out the, uh, uh, the agency, the FBI, um, because they believe that uh, Pedro's character has basically kidnapped a, a girl for political purposes or reasons. And so his job is to basically help them find out because they have no way to infiltrate uh, this individual's c compound. And that's basically kind of the story. Um, so it's a comedy. It's got some action in it, but it's a super, super fun, funny film. Um, in my opinion, it's one of Nicolas Cage's better roles um, that I've seen him play. He's been playing a lot of like more serious roles recently, like Mandy and Pig. Um, so it was good to see him in a comedy that's a little bit more lighthearted, a little bit more fun. Something that I hadn't seen from him in quite a while, maybe since like National Treasure, where it's a little bit more light and not, not quite as serious. But I thought he did a great job in there. I thought the acting was good. I thought that uh, Nicolas Cage and Pedro Pascal had great chemistry, uh, both very, very funny together. Uh, they got along great. Uh, definitely the kind of film where you could easily see a sequel being made here, uh, you know, with these two just kind of like a wacky kind of like buddy comedy, action comedy, if you will. But I enjoyed it. I thought it was great. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, I think that uh, the two of these guys are, were great together. I thought everybody in there was pretty funny. I definitely laughed and chuckled quite a little bit. It's far from a perfect film, but definitely if you're looking for something that's just fun, light, easy going, um, I want to say it's only like an hour and 47 minutes, um, you're going to have a great time. So definitely one of the better comedies that I've seen so far this year. I know it's only April, uh, but this one's definitely uh, definitely great, a great watch in my opinion. If I have to give this one a grade, I'm actually going to give it uh, my coveted three and a half out of four stars, or out of, uh, out of sorry, three and a half out of five stars, uh, which is uh, some people say my, my highest grade, according to Jason. Um, so that's just going to be a big old smile with some teeth, uh, because I definitely enjoyed it. And it's definitely one that I may buy and may even see again. Um, but let me know down in the comments, have you seen uh, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent? Did you like it? Did you not like it? As always, if you like the channel, we ask you to like, subscribe, make sure you hit that bell notification, and uh, I'll be back again with another show. Uh, Jason may or may not be joining me on the next one, but um, but we'll definitely be back together again soon. He, he's just been a little busy, and I've been a little busy, so we just haven't gotten together. But definitely want to get this review out for you guys, so uh, let me know what you think. And uh, like I said, as always, go ahead and like the channel. And uh, I still do have some major announcements coming up here in the near future. Just haven't had a chance to... Uh, iron out some of the details on that. Thanks so much. Have a great day.